Hey everybody, it's Chris playing Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 9 of the Point Two Three career update. And uh, this is a moon rover mission. So I built this lander and um, it was purpose built for the moon mission. Now, if you look at the lander, it's I've already gone through the transfer to the moon and uh, had my encounter set up this little uh, orbit here. And you'll notice at the top there's a tank with an engine facing the opposite way as the lander tanks. Well, it's because I forgot to put a decoupler. So once we shoot back there, you see that big two, two and a half meter tank with a, I believe that's a poodle engine. Yes, a poodle engine. Uh, well, it was not meant to be there. It was meant to come off. So uh, that is a lot of weight to carry around, making this lander... Uh, pretty much inefficient because uh, you know I have just enough fuel to land and it did take me a couple times to get close to um, my landing site at the Alpha Moon Base or Moon Base Alpha the first time I actually waited too late to stop slowing down uh, I was waiting to the last minute to slow down over the base but I waited too long and with that extra mass, I actually overshot the landing site by probably 10 kilometers. It was really bad. Those uh, rocket mech engines didn't have enough thrust with all that extra weight. So I had to, you know, revive from a save. And then I started burning a couple minutes earlier. And then uh, I landed, I bounced, and I took off. And then I landed back again, um, but I had to restart the save there as well. I did a save right before I touched down um, because this thing is kind of top heavy too. But anyway, uh, we're just looking at our uh, deorbit burn, and we're just trying to get close to our landing site. I did cut out a lot of the map screen stuff because that's pretty boring. Uh, most of it was just to see where I was going to end up uh, to look at that blue trajectory line. And I actually, I think on this mission, I actually put in a maneuver node at the bottom of the trajectory to try to see how long it would take to burn and give me an idea when to start burning. But uh, it might not be in this mission. Um, this is all post-commentary stuff. Uh, so as we're coming close, you can see right just above the nav ball there, you got the target, uh, the pink information. And uh, what I'm trying to do is get my lander to come down on top of that little area it's kind of a flat area just outside of a, a crater ring or rim and you can see there's three craters there and we're just on the lip of the far side of these of this middle crater which is kind of cool uh, it wasn't planned that way it's to get the moon base there like I said uh, the moon base originally started as a stranded capsuleer Kerbal knot and um, turn into well let's get another lander out there with some extra life support until we can figure out how to get the Kerbal back and then I said well you know what we got Kerbal attachment system why not make a moon base so it is working out uh, I do have some other parts there that you probably don't see in this video uh, I've recorded these uh, these missions ahead of time I probably have like five or six done and just need to be edited so uh, I do have a nuclear reactor on site now and um, the next thing I gotta do is get some life support out there uh, to fix well because they're not gonna have a lot they're probably down to like 60 days as of right now but not in this video but as of right now currently when this gets posted it'll have about 60 days of life support uh, and that's you know not accelerating at all so we don't know how long that's going to take and how many accelerations I'm doing but I'm pretty much just doing missions to the moon in Minmus right now and I did some work on the science lab or sky lab as well as well so all right so we're just coming down we're gonna do something funky because I think this is where I bounced and bounced sideways and then I had to uh, I was just about out of fuel and I had to do something else yeah yeah maybe this is okay yeah that's what it was I uh, jumped way out and then I had to uh, I couldn't come back I didn't have enough fuel so I did a save uh, restore there and now we're landed right next to the moon base and what I'm gonna do is drop the rover as you can see it's not 
overly complicated rover. It's kind of light. It was lighter than it should have been. Um, I didn't. I've never done a, a rover on the moon, but I have on Minmus, and in Minmus, it's the microgravity is extreme, and the the rover would just f flip out. It would do wheelies going forward and and all sorts of crazy stuff. But I didn't think that would be an issue here on the moon. I didn't really realize that um, this thing was very unstable. Uh, it looks stable, but it's not. And uh, you can see those two long extended things, also the uh, magnetospheric uh, sensors from the Interstellar Space mod. And those are actually folded in. When they unfold, they're like twice as wide and they go straight out, uh, well, perpendicular to which direction they are now. Uh, so I was actually using those as stability controls uh, later on, but you'll see as I I go off the hill uh, in this crater rim and uh, I get some serious hang time because uh, I was going a little bit fast, but uh, you'll see that as it comes up. Uh, right now what I'm going to do is I, I have some new science instruments here. And I have uh, an antenna on this, and I don't have remote tech set up yet because I, I just haven't gotten around to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some science missions on that new equipment that I have. And I can't remember if it's the seismic um, is the seismic sensors. And there might be something else that's new on there. And uh, I'll connect it to the, to the ships or to the base itself with the uh, Kerbal Attachment System pipes. And then I will get some, uh, use the battery power from from this moon base to power the antenna for the science that's done from the rover. Uh, so now you see one of the Kerbals coming out and he's going to set up a, uh, a link. Now I was going to link this uh, lander into the moon base and then I was going to you know steal the fuel out of it. But that turned out to be not such a good idea. Kerbal attachment system has this weird uh, and I don't know if it's a it's if it's a bug or if it's meant to be that way, but at times it seems that it just wants to explode things. And I don't know if any of you guys have used the Kerbal Attachment System and tried it out. Uh, it has happened a couple times where I've used it and whatever I connected to exploded. So at this point, I believe I was going to save my game before I connected these together. But I'm using this um, pylon. And you can use it as a, uh, like, to extend your pipes because the pipes only go so far. So what I was going to do is run the pile, run this, uh, land, this moon base lander, connect that to that pylon, and then the pylon to the new lander that just dropped off the rover. And, you know, I can see I have a bunch of cur uh, Kerbal Attachment System pipe end joints just hanging around. Uh, I put them on most of the st stuff that lands on the moon because... Uh, it, it just helps making the base. And uh, using the jetpack is actually very, f it's it's a lot faster to do that than let the Kerbal walk. But you just gotta, you hit the ground and sometimes you'll go pretty far. If you're not careful, you'll slide across the surface of the moon for a good while if you've got enough velocity. So yeah, I'm just gonna take off the pipe end joint from here and then I'm gonna attach it to the pylon and then I'll get another attachment uh, a pipe end joint and I'll connect that to the lander and I'm just going to run this back to uh, I th this might be the ex time this is this explodes but I'm not sure uh, no okay so that that's okay and then when I connect the pylon to the lander that's when things go crazy but um, we're gonna go ahead and try that and we'll see what happens maneuvering the, the Kerbal around. Yeah, see, that just exploded the pylon. Uh, now, this pipe end joint is just kind of floating here. The pylon is gone. There's another pipe end joint rolling around. Um, not much else. I, I was kind of surprised. I, this is the first time the things have exploded on me, but it has happened since. So um, I was a little confused as to what happened.
So it's today using the pylon. Maybe that was the problem. I, I don't think it was at the time, but uh, I said, let me give it the benefit of the doubt. I'll try to directly connect the, the lander to the moon base. And uh, shit goes wrong. Now, as you can see, there's still parts exploding. That lander completely disappeared. And my little caption, wrong button. Well, it wasn't so much a button as a weird kind of issue. And so I did not try to connect that lander again. So I had to restore the save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect, and hopefully I don't explode this. That's what I was thinking at the time. I want to connect this rover to the moon base so I can use its power in order to uh, transmit science. So I'll connect that up, and then I'll run those science missions like I had originally intended, but then got sidetracked connecting the lander to try to steal the fuel from it. Now, if we ever have to get off the moon right now, I might have the ability to get one lander off but I don't think I'd be able to get both of them. Uh, so fuel is going to be an issue. Now, um, just I'm a little cautious at this time because I don't want this thing to blow up or the rover because it took a while to build the rover and get it over here. Uh, a few iterations, if you will. Now, let me connect this up, and then we're going to run our science, and then we'll take the rover on a rove. All right, so we're just about to connect this rover to the moon base and do our science. Um, it did not explode, which was very nice. That was a bonus in my book. Um, maybe because uh, it's, I don't know if it has to do with the way the object is uh, maybe on an incline or if it's unstable or somewhat stable or top heavy or what. I, I'm not sure why things blow up with Kerbal Attachment System pipe end joints, but it does happen. All right, well, we've run our science, and we've disconnected our rover, tried to <laughs> tried to go into the capsule, but it was the wrong one, so uh, we had to move to the other capsule that was empty, and here our rover will be taking its first stride here. And uh, what I didn't realize I did was I put, it's symmetrical all the way around, uh, I put lights on the front but I also put them on the back, so the back became the front, and the front became the back. I was all confused on direction because I wanted to. I wanted the W key to make it go forward, the you know A key to turn it right, the D key to turn it left, and S to stop it. Uh, so it kind of got all messed up, and then I turned off the steering on two of the wheels, uh, the, what would have been the rear wheels, and. Uh, it made it a little bit easier. I was looking at the map and I was confused as what I was looking at, so that's really not important. I just rove around for a little while and uh, not intending to really do anything other than just try it out, just to drive. And this all leads us to the point that I was going to prove or make was that this rover was really not well designed. Um, I couldn't get up this hill after a while and I kept spazzing out but that's irrelevant it was just the actually it was the hill on the other side I'm sorry now that I'm thinking about it so we're gonna just dive right on off and I wasn't going fast if I was going I was probably going on to 10 kilometers a second but um, it would just do a little slow-mo action here and kind of flip out but we didn't break anything which was amazing I mean I know it's not that heavy of a object but just hitting at random spots you'd think that like the solar panels would break something like that so uh, we're just gonna watch this thing kinda tumble on down the hill and if you've seen my Minmus rover it's very similar except this didn't seem to be as uh, air death defying but uh, it was still was pretty bad um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of roving around and then I just want to go back up to put this back at the uh, moon base and just leave it parked there for a while and um, you know basically this is just me f mucking around as Scott would say because it's Scott Manley uh, he doesn't like to swear I guess but uh, just me messing around here and just having a little bit of fun that's about it so uh, yeah we 
did some more death defying stunts. Uh, it was like stuntman, stuntman day, I guess. Jeb was probably driving this from uh, Kerbal Space Command and didn't give a flip about uh, what happened to the rover. He was just having a good old time. And this is the hill. We tried to make it back up, and it took a while. So I did find that putting out those graviton, whatever you call them, I, I can't remember what they are, but they're from the interstellar pack. It is a science instrument, but I, I put those out, and it actually made things work a little bit better. Um, not much better, but a little bit better. And, I, and there was enough internal torque on this that I could roll the lander. Uh, I'm sorry, roll the rover and go one way and then all the way back the other way and it would flip over there was enough internal torque but that was the moon rover mission and uh i don't know hope you enjoy it like subscribe comment check it out and thanks for watching